Hello all. Today I am back with one more illustration on annuity. So that this illustration says that a 12 year saving annuity of rupees 5000 per year is beginning at the end of the current year. The payment of retirement annuity is to begin 16 years from now which means the first payment is to be received at the end of 16th year and it will continue to provide a 20 year payment annuity. If this plan is arranged through a bank that pays the interest at the rate of 10% per annum on the deposited funds, what is the size of yearly retirement annuity that will result? That means the question says that you have taken a saving plan from the bank in which you are depositing 5000 rupees every year and the first deposit that you are making is exactly after one year that means if today is a current year you are depositing exactly one year from now in simple words we can say that you get your first deposit is at the end of year one and this way you are depositing every year you are depositing for 12 years that means from your pocket there is a outflow for 12 years now what happens after 12 years bank keeps your money and pay back to you as your retirement plan starting from the end of 16th year and starting from the 16th the bank is going to pay you the amount till next 20 years so you have to find out the amount that you are going to receive as a retirement plan benefit so now let's understand the same question with the help of number line now over here you will see the number line the question says a 12 year saving plan of 5000 per year beginning at the end of current year that means we are starting this is your current year that means this is your right now time period whenever this current year will end that means at the end of first year your first payment of 5000 is there and you are taking since you have taken a 12 year saving annuity so you are depositing the amount for 12 years now you will see over here it's forming an annuity your time period is known you are depositing for 12 years you are having the regular interval of time you are depositing at the end of every year that means between two different time period there is a gap of one year so you can say it's a regular interval so it is your annuity after that what the bank is doing bank is keeping the money with him that means bank is not going to pay back your money at the end of 12 years now what the bank is doing bank is giving back your money in 20 installments and the first installment is starting from at the end of year 16 now if you are going to calculate the 20 installment, your 16th at the end of year 16, your first installment will be there. At the end of year 17, second installment. At the end of year 18, third. At the end of year 19, fourth. And if you are going to calculate, your 20th installment will be at the end of 35th year. So, over here, if you are going to see, this is also forming an annuity. If you are going to see the time period, time period is known. That means till 20 years, you are going to get the amount. So your time period is known and the difference between two time period is same. That means there is a gap of one year after every installment. So again, it's a regular interval of time. So I can say that this is also forming an annuity. Now let's see how we are going to solve this question because we have to calculate this X amount. We don't know how much amount we are going to get. So what I have done, I have just assumed that we are getting X amount till 20 years. So right now we are standing over here. I am standing at this moment. Now I have to see what amount of installments I am going to get if I take such plan. So first of all, let's see how much amount I have deposited with the bank. As we have already seen, this is an annuity. So let me calculate the amount that the bank will be having after 12 years. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to calculate 
फ्यूचर वैल्यू ऑफ एनविटी एट द एंड ऑफ ईयर ट्वेल्व सो हाउ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट एफ डब्ल्यू एफ वी ए एट द एंड ऑफ ईयर ट्वेल्व नाउ आफ्टर दैट बट वट द बैंक इज डूइंग बैंक इज कीपिंग द मनी विद हिम सो लेट्स कैलकुलेट द अमाउंट विच द बैंक विल हैव एट द एंड ऑफ फिफ्टीन ईयर सो आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग द फ्यूचर वैल्यू ऑफ एनविटी आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट द फ्यूचर वैल्यू वट द बैंक विल बी हैविंग एट द एंड ऑफ फिफ्टीन ईयर सो आई एल बी कैलकुलेटिंग एफ वी फिफ्टीन एट द एंड ऑफ फिफ्टीन ईयर लेट सी वट द बैंक इज होल्डिंग नाउ आफ्टर दैट बैंक इज गोइंग टू पे मी द अमाउंट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन ईयर नाउ इफ आई एम गोइंग टू सी ओवर हेयर this is my ordinary annuity so i can i can write instead of ordinary i am just writing o oh, this is my ordinary annuity the reason is the first installment is starting at the end of year 1 so as we have already discussed in the previous videos if the first cash flow is at the end of year 1 it will be considered as ordinary and if the cash flow is at the starting of year or you can say starting of a period then it will be considered as annuity due so over here the cap first cash flow is at the end of the period because we are standing over here and exactly after one year i am going to pay the amount or i can i am saying i am depositing the amount in a bank so it will be considered as an ordinary annuity now from 12th to 15th year we are not depositing any amount so no annuity plan is there so we are just calculating the simple future value now over here if you are going to see again the bank is going to pay me the amount starting from the 16th period now let's say if i am standing at 15th period so exactly after one year i am getting my first retirement annuity or you can say my first cash flow which is exactly after one year so again it's an ordinary annuity but over here i can also consider it as as annuity due if i have calculated instead of fv15 if i have calculated over here what amount the bank is having at the end of 16th year that means i can calculate f fv16 also if i am going to calculate fv16 in that case i am standing over here at fv16 and the first installment is also at the end of 16th year so that means it will be considered as annuity due so it depends on you whether you are going to calculate ordinary annuity or annuity due if you will calculate fv15 and the first installment is at the end of 16th year it will be considered as ordinary annuity and if you are going to calculate fv16 future value at the end of 16th year and first installment is also at the end of 16th year that it will be considered as annuity due so first of all we are going to calculate future value of annuity then i am going to calculate future value at the end of 15th year and whatever amount bank will having at the end of 15th year bank is going to pay me back the same amount so how to calculate first of all i have to convert all these future values into the present value so what i am going to do i am going to convert whatever i am going to get at the end of 16th year i am going to convert it to the 15th year whatever i am going to get at the end of 17th year i am going to convert it till 15th year similarly whatever i am going to get at the end of 18th year i am going to convert it till 15th year so the amount that i am getting at the end of 16th year i will convert it into 15th year that means time period will be 1 17 to 15 time period will be 2 18 to 15 time period will be 3 and so on so that means the last installment that i am that i am getting at the end of 35th year for that i have to calculate till 15th it will be 20 years so over here i have to calculate present value of annuity for 20 years so let's see how to solve it now first of all we are going to calculate future value of annuity at the end of 12th year now if we are going to calculate future value of annuity our equation becomes P bracket one plus R raised to power n minus one raised to power n minus two till zero. The equation we have already learned in the previous videos. Now over here, the 
P that means principal amount that we are depositing is 5000 so that means and our time period is 12 years so we have to start the equation so, so for the first installment that I am depositing I am going to get the interest for 11 years for the next installment that I am depositing I will get the interest for 10 years and so on. So if you are going to use the formula for present uh, future value of annuity formula says P 1 plus R raised to power N minus 1 upon R putting the values we are going to get this amount. Now let's see how to solve it with the help of a calculator. Now let's see over here. First of all let's start solving the bracket. So it's 1 plus 0 0.10 raised to power 12. So let's start 1 plus 1 0 0.10 you are going to get 1.1 power is 12. So what we are going to do we are going to press multiply and whatever is a power you have to subtract 1 from that. So that comes 11. So for 11 times we have to press equals to. So let's start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now whatever is the answer, if we have to subtract 1 minus 1, we get this amount. We have to divide it by 0 0.10. Answer is this. We have to multiply it by 5000, multiply it by 5000. So we are going to get 106921.418. Now, if you are going to see the amount is 106921.418. Now, the next step is we have to convert this amount to future value at the end of 15th year. So, we are going to convert this amount to future value at the end of 15th year. Now, over there you will see that we have already calculated this amount at the end of 12 year. We have to see at the end of 15, so our time period will be for 3 years. We have to see what amount bank will have in after 3 years. So let's calculate it. So it will be future value at the end of 15th year will be whatever future value at the end of 12 year we are having. We have to multiply it by 1 plus r raised to power 3. So the future value at the end of 12 year we have already calculated. That is 1 plus 0 0.10 raised to power 3. Now let's solve it. Now first of all we try to solve the bracket part. So we are going to solve the bracket. Now it's 1 plus 0 0.10. So it's 1.1. We have to press multiply. Power is 3. That means we have to multi uh, press equals to 2 times. 1 and 2. We have to multiply it by 1. 0, 6, 9, 2, 1, 9, 2, 1, 8, 8. So we are going to get this amount. So this is our future value at the end of 15th year. Now next step we have to do from the end of 16th year we are going to get our first installment. So whatever installment bank is going to pay us that won't be more than this amount. So what we are going to do we are going to convert each and every installment in the present value for the 15th year. And then we are going to see what amount of this installment we are going to receive. So the equation for present value is this putting the values in that we don't know the installment so I have taken x now formula for present value of annuity is given over here now if you are going to solve this let's solve it now first of all let's solve this bracket part it will be 1 divided by 1.1 we are going to get this amount now the power is 20 so what we are going to do we are going to subtract 1 so we have to press equals to 19 times so let's start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19. Now we have to subtract 1 from this. You have to ignore the minus sign divided by 0 0.1. So you are going to get 8.513. So it will be. So what we are going to do? We are going to calculate x. So whatever we have got 8.513 we are going to take another side. Then that, that means we have to divide it. So x will be equals to 142312.4084 divided by 8.513. So our answer will be 
So that means we are going to get the installment of 16,715 till next 20 years. So what's next? So this is a question for you. You have to do this question. The question says a 10 year saving annuity of rupees 5,000 per year is beginning from today's date. The payment of retirement annuity is to begin 14 years from now. The first payment to be received at the starting of 15 years and will continue to provide a 15 year payment annuity. If this plan is arranged through a bank that pays interest at the rate of 11.5% per year on deposited funds, what is the size of yearly retirement annuity that will result? Don't forget to write your answer in the comment box. For further numericals, you can refer the book Financial Management. Thank you.